exact the left page would have i am so grateful for the wonderful friends that i have namaste everyone this is roshni shanaz your spiritual well-being guide welcome to fitta today i'm going to share with you a very integral part of our spiritual and soul's well-being gratitude but we can only do that when we make efforts to shine our own light into the world and be grateful for all that we have our weekly chant is connected exactly to that it works on opening up our inner light our heart and awakening that light to work in the world it is also called as the light mantra it is a latin prayer that is of the highest potency for expanding our heart energy and creating that connection with the higher consciousness resting within and beyond us it helps us to transit from mere material living to living in gratitude and alignment to our higher purpose the words go as lumen de lumine deum de deo lumen de lumine deum verum de deo vero which means light from light god from god true god from true god so let us intend a prayer before we do this collective chant for world healing relax your entire body take a few deep breaths and get into your inner calmness and silence within your system breathe in and breathe out inhale exhale inhale exhale feel that calmness and resting comfort space within you in the love of god and as you feel that intend your heart chakra which is in the center of your chest area for this mantra is going to awaken your heart energy now intending the heart chakra you shall chant with me three times lumen de lumine deum de deo lumen de lumine deum verum de deo vero breathe in feel the expansion of your heart energy lumen de lumine deum de deo lumen de lumine deum verum de deo vero breathe in the expansion feel all of these vibrations within and around you last time lumen de lumine deum de deo lumen de lumine deum verum de deo vero feel this inner expansiveness of your heart chakra and intend and visualize that you are illuminating the entire world through this inner light wherever you go in whatever that you do and as you feel these sensations give gratitude to god for all the love and protection and allow the warmth of god's love to envelop you and the entire world so what does gratitude mean to you a thank you a grateful heart kindness compassion all of these are the magnanimous parts of the word called gratitude we are living through unusual and trying times the covid-19 pandemic has people feeling stressed and frightened we are unfortunately not trained to handle failures adversities and life challenges most of us are pushed in the waters and then we try to scramble our way to keep afloat 
it is the practice of noticing and being aware and thankful for what is valuable and meaningful to you that counts. It's good for your mental and physical health as well because it can help you relax and stay well through the pandemic and beyond. Yes, I reinstate that gratitude is good for your overall health and practicing gratitude can be easy, rewarding and fun. Focusing on your life's silver linings, counting on your blessings, stopping by to smell those roses and flowers while you walk through the pathway or the garden when you go for walks. These are not cliches, friends. These activities, research has shown, enhance our quality of life. The health benefits of practicing gratitude are wide-ranging and maybe even surprising to many. Cultivating thankfulness isn't some homework that you are given by the teacher and it doesn't require much of your energy. It requires your heart. You can start small by taking a few moments to just notice those little things that are going on in your life around you. It is drawing that silver lining actually around a gloomy cloud. And yet there will be so many things that you will see as a blessing. But they were totally shadowed by the sadness or grief that surrounded you or was around you. To help this make a regular tradition and set aside a short time each day to intentionally practice gratitude. One or more of these activities kickstart your grat journey. Just begin with buying a nice colorful book or a journal and jot down your daily joys, blessings and silver linings. On every left page of the book, write the things that you are already blessed with and grateful for. And on the right hand side, write things that you want to yet manifest by giving advanced gratitude to the same. It is gratitude and anticipation. Example, left page would have, I am so grateful for the wonderful friends that I have. And the right page example would be, if you're looking for a job since the pandemic has overthrown you from the last one, then you should write, I am so grateful for the amazing ideal job that I got, which pays me well and takes care of all my needs. When you give this advanced gratitude, you are propelling the universe to roll the ball towards the manifestation of this very thing that you have been giving this advanced gratitude for. When you regularly challenge yourself to identify and name these little things in gratitude, you may begin to notice a distinct improvement in your emotional well-being. Try sitting down every day and listing out. That one place that is safe and feels comfortable, relaxes you, thrills you, you feel that joy. That one thing that is going well in your life right now. Write down three things that you enjoy the most or enjoyed the most in childhood. Write three things that you are looking forward to in life. Write the names and thank the people whom you love and who have stood by you and done things in life. Thank in the daily small ways that you can. With the roof above your head, the food on your plate, the loved ones that protect you, the friends that make you laugh and everyone who has ever helped you to be who you are. All this will shortly become the very source of comfort and reassurance, especially when we all are trying to stay above these troubled waters currently. I personally feel this deep sense of gratitude for everyone who has sacrificed for the common good over the last one and a half year, especially the ones who have masked up and physically distanced themselves to provide essential services in our communities, to keep everything going for you and me. You will no doubt have your own list of earth angels, but here are just a few of mine, which I would like to share with you. Some could overlap and you could have them as well in your list. Healthcare workers, thanks to all of them for being in such difficult and dangerous situations and conditions and standing by our loved ones to bring them back home. Essential workers, thanks for clocking in every single day 
that includes the bus drivers, the grocery store guys, the waste collectors, the tradespeople, the firefighters, the law enforcement officers and everyone delivering packages and things to our doorstep. Being there out for us that you and I do not go without that meal each day. Teachers working in person or online, thanks to your commitment to the students and continuing to bring out the best in them. Parents, including so many now working with kids at home, thanks for juggling all your responsibilities and making everything work. Our elderly people who really have nowhere much to go but are standing by their kids or you know grandkids and being with them through these troubled times encouraging them motivating them laughing with them bonding with them and somebody who no one really remembers to thank the clinical trial participants your participation is extremely critical in developing treatments and vaccines thank you for all that you have done to step up show up including so many public figures as well because if not for you we wouldn't have the vaccines that are there across the world. Everyone out there who is following the three W's, the most important ones in these days, wearing a mask, watching your distance and washing your hands. Thank you for playing your role and playing it well so that you keep yourself and your loved ones and the community, society and the world safe. You are as well the front lines in the battle which we all are fighting together. And lastly, the researchers from the public and the private sectors who are working in partnership all around the world. Our shared goal is to learn all that we can about this pandemic, about the virus, and to develop better tests, new treatments, and safe and effective vaccines. Set aside some time in your everyday schedule to importantly give gratitude through words, through appreciation, and through any other way that you can. Add any of the ones that I shared in your grat list as well. Because collective gratitude for all that is and all that will be is going to only move us towards the good and multiplies the possibilities of the actual manifestation. Compels you to see and do more than you would otherwise do. So extend your gratitude beyond all limits of just specific things in your life and create a perspective of gratitude that applies to everything. You shall realize that once what have appeared as an obstacle snaps out clearly into focus, sharp focus as an advantage and a blessing in disguise. And the much needed silver lining shall shine through. What once could have drained you now energizes you. So find new ways to be thankful each day and you'll surely create new pathways to success and your experience of richness and fulfillment will keep pace with it. So hope everything I share with you each week is helping you build your spiritual health and overall well-being. Write in the comments what is it that has changed in your life by practicing something that I have shared with you and write about topics that you would like me to share in these videos. Until then, see you next week. Keep watching Fit Tuck. Stay blessed, loved and protected. In love and light and super duper Godspeed. Love you all and tons of blessings.